you know what? I'm going to open a pack with coins, see what happens. Let's open a pack with coins, see what happens. Never open packs with coins. Oh my god, look at this pack. 78 rate is the highest. Jesus Christ. Never open a pack with coins, chat. I would just like to very quickly talk about a young man called Anders who has got that amazing run on Fut Champs. And I just wanted to say that, like, first of all, if he ever manages to see this, congratulations, young man. You're, you're an inspiration to this 33-year-old dog. I wish I was as good at FIFA as you. And second of all, I just wanted to say that, like, I am absolutely baffled. And actually, do you know what? That's a lie. I'm not baffled. When it comes to the internet, nothing baffles me. It does not surprise me at all that people want to seek this little lad out because they're jealous, because they've got nothing better to do in their lives, and they want to have a go at him for losing a game of FIFA. I'm at a boy that is 15 years old. And we've talked about it on stream before, and the reason people want to do that is this. In the world, particularly on the internet, there is two ways to get notoriety. The first is to work very hard and have a natural skill or talent and develop an audience or a fan base, which is what this Anders lad has done. He's incredible at FIFA. He's won 400, 500, 600, however many it is, game of foot champs in a row. It's unprecedented. He's developed an audience for himself, right? So that's one way of getting yourself an audience. The second way is to find somebody with an audience, jump on top of them and create controversy on top of them or um, be rude or insulting um, and that way that develops heat because people then see you being like that and they go stop doing that don't be like that why are you doing that and that's like a shorthand way to get an attention I'm not that good at FIFA I've not worked hard on Twitch I've not worked hard on YouTube I've not developed an audience I know what I'll do I'll jump into the comment, se comment section or Twitter and I'll just tweet abuse to somebody and then that'll create the buzz and I'll get the attention that I want and deserve but I don't have to do any of the work. So Anders, and anyone that has received any undue abuse on the internet, if you're watching this, that is why that is happening. People that are either jealous, or they want the audience that you've got, and they can't be going about finding it themselves. That's what's happened. So I just want that there. And if you're one of these people in the YouTube comment section, or on Twitter, slagging folk off, first of all, don't do that. You'll feel better if you don't. And second, I know your game. I'm on to you. Away, get your own YouTube channel. Away, get your own Twitter following. Away, do your own TikToks. So there you go. Lovely. That's that's my thinking on that, that Anders lad. And the last thing that I hate, the last thing that I hate is people that sort of go, well, well, you've got to take the rough with the smooth. You've got to take the rough with the smooth. If you're good at FIFA, You've got to expect people to abuse you for being good at FIFA. If you're on the telly, you've got to expect people to make fun of you on Twitter. Why? I get that that comes with the territory. I absolutely get that that comes with the territory. But why do we live in this world where like, oh, something's got to have a little bit of... A little bit of... You've got to have a little bit of... You can't have all good things. You've got to have a little bit of this. Sprinkled over it. Why do people? Ha why? Why is that people's thoughts all the time? Well, that fifteen-year-old boy that is good at FIFA. To be fair, he's made a little bit of money from it now, so he probably should be called um, all sorts of names under the sun on the internet. Why? Think about what you're saying. Yes, I get that. With notoriety, you will get a little bit of backlash. I'm. I, I'm on. You mean I'm on the telly a little bit? Some people think I'm awful. I think I'm awful. If you've ever watched me on telly and thought, oh, I don't like him very much, I don't like me very much. If you are watching this YouTube video right now and thinking, I don't like this guy, we should hang out. Honestly, we'd get along. We'd have loads in common. Ian Sterling would be there, which would ruin it for the both of us a little bit, but it would be great. But I'd, why do we live in a society where people just think because you get something good, you deserve something bad? It's mad. It, even in sport. Why are Scotland good at rugby? For one in, one and a half games, and then they get bad again. Why can't they just be good for lots of games? Why can Liverpool only win the league once, and then all of a sudden, their defence act like they've never seen a football?
So anyone that has watched my streams before or anything like that, last week we went one and four. One win, four losses. We then finished on 17 wins, but we had to win the last three games. We're 17-14. Today we are 11 wins and five. We're 11 and five at the minute. Which is insane. We also, so instead, we went one win, four losses last week. This week, we were 10 wins and four losses, which means we're nine wins better than we were last week. And we got 17 wins. So logically, that means we could push to 26 wins. Well, we can't now because we've lost five. But was it six losses for, what's it for elite? How many losses can you have for elite? Seven. We're going to get into a game straight away. Oh my god, look at this team. That's a sick team. Although that Ronaldo is trash bags. Oh my god, what, what defender. Here we go. Oh, a nice looking pass. Kylian Mbappe, does he mean business? Get in! And that's another thing. Now we've got Rooney. We've moved Mbappe out to right cam. And Jesus Christ, those shots across the keeper are just insane. This team is like, how have I gone from one in four? To going. getting these sorts of results. I mean, this is far from done. Here we go. And the ball with Gerard. Firmino. Neymar. In it goes. That will greatly help the call. Can we update my record, please? I want everyone to know I'm actually playing good. I'm actually playing good FIFA chat. Can you believe it? Virgil van Dijk. Neymar. That's a nice goal, to be fair. There you go. 12 and 5, boys and girls. Not a bad record at all, if I do say so myself. Alexander Arnold. To take the lead. Oh, yes! You have it worked for the first time in Foot Champs history! <laughs> we won it! We done it, man! I'm on another level this weekend, League Boys. Teammate available. Okay. They do pass the ball with authority, applying vigorous pressure. Oh, Get in! Terrible goal, but we'll take it. Rager. Oh, let's go! Okay, here we go. So we'll do three of these. We'll do three of these with the points. Uh, LG Gbo, thank you for the Twitch parama. Please be a walkout. No. Is it 84 or higher, though? Another two pounds to charity. Oh, it's German. Goalkeeper, come on. Leno, that is an 85. That will go straight towards Curtis Jones. And that is an, another two pounds to the old Charitinos. As well as l 9 Gbo's primer and Mini's primer, which gives another four quid. Six pound just while we're opening that pack. What fantastic stuff. And all these are worth a thousand coins, right? There you go. We're making we're making bank, boys. We're making bank. Oh, he's actually worth a bit more, isn't he? Okay, next one. I'd love a future stars from these. I'd love a future stars. Come on. A little cheeky future stars from one of these. Not a walkout. It is a board. Is it 80? Oh, it will be 84 high, won't it? Oh, Schmeichel. No, Ericsson, 85. Yes, please. That's another two buckaroonies. Anyone else play Rooney striker, but he, but he finally misses a lot of chances. Matt, honestly, Rooney misses absolutely nothing for me. He's incredible. Try and use finesse with him. His curve's brilliant. So try and use finesse. That's my little hint to you. Right, one more and then we'll get into these games. Oh, 84 ASP as well. We get two. So another one then. Fine. Another one, boys. Here we go. We got it. We got it. Thank you for the... for the. Come on. One walkout. No walkout in three of them. How much is that in FIFA points? How much is that in actual money? In DD? Yeah, in DD. Another one. How much was that? Enjoyed the stream this morning. Keep up the great work, mate. 
Oh, thank you for the five quid, McKenna. Thank you very much. Come on. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Must take the lead here. Get in. You've got to say it has Get in. Been A great advert for low possession counter-attacking football. And then with a the real chance. That is so f moving my centre backs. I'm just doing everything you shouldn't do here. Let's try and get a cheesy kick off goal. And options in the centre. And he's made headway. Is it going to be? And a goal in the lead again. Fully deserved. Van Dyke with it. Nice ball. Really the nice ball. Lots of options here. Oh, good vision. Oh, surely. Again. Schweinsteiger. Mares. Squeaky bomb time. Well won. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Thierry Henry. We're making high pressing. Get in. So Get in, chat. So last week, we were, we went 14 and 13. This week, we are now, what are we now? 15 and 7. And all I've done is... Really simple stuff. If you're an average FIFA player like me, when I'm jockeying, which um, is L2, which means your player's just constantly facing the front, I used to always hold L2 and R2. And it would just, because I thought I wanted to jockey quicker. Just hold L2, slow jockeying, use sprint only if the player gets past you and you want to move yourself back into position. And just hold a couple of meters off just so they can't make any sudden moves just to get past you. And also, if you've ever played drafts, where you don't want to give away your back line on drafts because then people can double up and get their drafts made into queens or whatever and move all around the board, just don't use your back line. Have four at the back, have three at the back. Just never select those defenders. Let the AI do a lot of the work. Oh my God, 15 wins with eight left. Elite is still on the cards. Lovely put together team, that. Really nice put together team. Everyone's on full chem apart from his right mid and his centre back. I wasn't watching the run. He's going to score a chip. So bad. I just. Defensive line's quite high. Dybala was there. Just needed just needed to use one of my defenders to cover the, the passing lane, cover the run, and I just didn't. Got to be a red card. It's got to be a red card. Yeah. Extra time. Oh no. Come on. Yeah, boys. That takes us to 16 and 7. 16 and 7. What a result. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you to everyone as well that watched uh, Catchphrase. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link down below to the tiny, tiny changes charity that I was raising money for last night on Catchphrase. We raised a fantastic amount of money. If you want to check them out, maybe give them some cash. Just see what they're doing for mental health for young people in Scotland. Link down below. Tiny Changes the Charity, which was set up in memory of Scott Hutchinson, uh, the lead singer of the band Frightened Rabbit. They're my favourite band of all time. Again, all their stuff's available on YouTube uh, and Spotify and all those normal places. Maybe go on Spotify, give Frightened Rabbit a listen and check out Tiny Changes down below. Catchphrase was a, such a laugh to be a, to be part of. Apart from, if anyone's watched Catchphrase at home, I realise what I've done is, I thought I was good at Catchphrase, but what I was good at is, once someone had said what the catchphrase was, in my head I would go, oh yeah, I know that catchphrase. But when there's no one around to say the catchphrase first, or when they say the catchphrase first, you don't get the points. It's it's impossible. And you've got Stephen Mulhern there the whole time going, say what you see. And I'm like, I'm, I'm trying. I got Love Island wrong. How did... I got Love Island wrong. 
but it was such a pleasure to be part of it. So thank you for all the love and support on that. And please link down below for the Tiny Changes charity. I'd appreciate you checking them out and maybe give them a few quid if you've got a few quid going spare.